In this video, I will be showing you how to assemble the drawer box and the door to your cabinet assembly. Select the insert icon from your cabinet assembly drawing. Then go to assemblies and find the drawer box and the door assembly. From here, select the checkbox. The first thing we're going to do is mate the drawer to the opening. There's several ways to do this, but you'll find the way that I'm going to show you is going to be the easiest. Rotate around so that you can see the bottom edge of the drawer box and select Fasten Mate. Zoom all the way in so you can see the edge of the drawer box and move your cursor so that it's right up to the corner node of that edge. Then rotate around and select the front edge node on the top of the center rail. When you do that, it will put your drawer box right up against that rail, but we need to specify an offset. The offset value needs to be in the Z direction. You can see the Z is showing vertically on this piece. We're going to make this, in this case, a negative direction. If we go positive in Z, it will move the box down. And that needs to be negative 0.375. You can see it now moved it 3 eighths of an inch upwards. I'm going to click the check mark. That is now positioned in its correct location. Then the next mate's rather simple. We use the fasten mate icon. We zoom in. And from the center edge of the drawer face to the center of the flat edge of the door, we want those mated together. You can see it move the drawer box out of the cabinet. Select Solve to show it in its correct location. There should be a half of an inch of space between these. So we select Offset. We want to move in the positive Z direction one half of an inch. When I move that, it looks like it's going in the wrong direction. Let's try a negative value. And then select Solve. Now it looks like it's in its correct location. We can then click the check mark. <clears throat> I now have drawn the drawer face as well as the other components and assembled them in their correct locations. From here, you can move on to creating the lower trim pieces for the cabinet. I will show that in another video. This is the next step for completing your cabinet drawing.